What are you doing? Oh, uh, um, right now, I cut a part off so I can smooth this out, grind it out. I'm going to attach. This here to the back. There it is. To extend it. And we're going to make a... Oh, so you're turning the frame upside down then, huh? Oh, yeah, we're going to turn the frame. Oh, that's right. Did I have it? I had it yeah, you had it right. Yeah. It's like, uh, I guess, fill these in, bar it up to there, chop that off, clamp that up, and uh, move the bottom bracket down to here, and some homemade triple trees. About to sum it up? <laughs> All right, well, we'll do uh, so see how this goes. Cut scene two, right? Something like that. Yeah, day two. We skipped some stuff, but we mounted the three bar. We're making some triple trees, huh? Triple trees. Homemade style. Homemade. <laughs> Gonna put the big feet. All right. See that. And then show them, show them kind of where we're going to extend it. We're going to try to make it, we're going to extend it out so we can make a crank. About right here. Oh, no, sir. About right here? Yeah. Imagine look, imagine a curve right there and the curve up here. Curve, curve, coming right out here. Right there. Yeah, it's, I mean, look, it's, I've, I've already got it all worked out in my head. I know I should draw it for you, but but that's, a, that's some extreme dimensions you got there, sir. Once we get done, we're going to show OCC how we made shovel bikes and not motorcycles. <laughs> Without all the fake ass arguments right. and fights. <laughs> get her done, show them how it's done. Look, it's like, it's like all the, uh, all the tastelessness without all the handlebar mustaches. Right. <laughs> all right. Today what we did was we extended the crank out so I can have a nice little leverage on my legs, on the stand. I'm going to take this pipe here, going to line it up here, tack that on. All right, yeah, I see that. Up. Looks good. Once we get that done, we'll be rideable, huh? We'll do some cleanup weld. Yep. A little bondo work just to smooth out the. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bondo work today just to smooth out some of the shit that I did. And and, and uh, black murder it out. Then add the pedals. Yeah, it'll be riding. And then we'll be riding. Oh well, the last thing is uh, I need you to get your silver bike so we can use the front wheel. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put you a bar right here right. for front handbrake. Okay. And I got the handbrake. We just gotta get the cable. <laughs> okay. Um, and we gotta get the seat on. We gotta yep. figure out how to seat. mount the seat. Mount the seat. We'll cut this off. There it is. Sorry, folks, we slow this morning. Mount seat there. Oh, yeah, man, I see it. Looks like a tribal tattoo. Watch out, white boys. No. <laughs> All right, man, well, let's, uh, why not we say we go ahead and put that shit on? All right. As you can see, we didn't put our pipe in through here. So we tighten our chain up, but we got a floater just in the middle to keep the tension on the chain, to keep it from rubbing up against the railing. Got the hand, got the uh, crank mounted on. Next thing we're gonna work on is, is mounting the seat here. Show them, go ahead and give it a spin. Show them that floater before you put the seat on. Show them, show them how it works. Keeps going, just go slow. I want to show them that there ain't nothing holding it. Alright. And we already they already seen the seat. Oh, yeah. We just gonna get it done. So and then the we, next step is mounting the seat. And we got a better rim that we're gonna use to fix the axles and we gotta heat and tweak the front forks a little bit. And uh we'll be rolling today. We're gonna murder it out. Whoa, Whoa. look at you ride. Oh! This is a completed project on the top of the top of... Well, it's not completed. 
It's rideable. It's rideable. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Make that, make that U turn, sir. Pull up on the sidewalk where the brick on the house will be your backdrop over there, just past the drive. We can get a look close. We can get a look at what we got going on. I, I see you ghost riding the sprocket. Yeah. Worked out pretty good, huh? Yes, sir. Just gotta tweak a little bit more. Uh -huh. Well, now you gotta turn around again so we can get away from the blower so you can stop and show the bike off. Go to your, you can go to Tories if you want it. Yeah, you ain't taking no sharp turns. You get, hey, the more to ride though, the more you get used to it. Yeah. I'm strolling in my shopping cart, cargo bike. Alright. There we go. <clears throat> I know y'all seen me, uh, the video where I put this together. This is the USS Cargo. This woman very terribly upset me. Ordered this bike. I made this bike for her. And she decided she didn't want it. You can't touch these bikes online for like $1,200. And I was only trying to get 500 for it. She didn't want it. But, uh, so anyways, back to this thing. Go ahead and stand up, turn to the side. I'm going to do a walk around. All right. As you can see, we done. We got the, or for the most part, got the seat. Mount built in there, hugged in there like a motorcycle seat. Rear end's done. We gotta use a different rim, but you know it's rolling. The forks gotta get some tweaking going on, but if, hey, it's my first time to make some homemade triple trees, so uh, you know what do you expect? Uh, we're gonna get some sheet metal filling the holes right here, so whenever we paint, he can put his little initials on there. We got some sheet metal filling this angle piece right here for the pseudo uh, pseudo point. Eventually, he's thinking about, you know, going to get the bullet headlight right there. You know, to give it more of a motorcycle look. Oh, son of a... Ah, oh, man. Ah, hazards, hazards. I'm walking into stuff blind. Anyways, uh, I think what I like about the most, you know, uh, I, I hate to say it, but it's a cop-out using the Schwinn OCC chopper rear end, but I had too many of them laying around, and he don't give a shit, so he used it. And uh, I do like how small the back tire is compared to the full-size front tire with a complete rake. Uh, see the design that went into it. So, we're still going to make another video whenever we get the finishing work done. Uh, there's going to be a video once we get it painted up with car paint, a little sh car show paint job, and the seat reupholstered. But for now, what's the bike called? The Wicked, Wicked, Wicked Wild. Oh, man, you're a clown. There's a parade tomorrow morning, so we were going to paint it all fancy, but instead we just did a ghetto paint job. So once again, everything it seems like everything I make is chameleon, but it's because that's all I have laying around. But we did a, the forks in like a blue-purple chameleon. You can see they look kind of blue in the camera, and the frame looks is a green-purple chameleon. And, uh, and we just got done spraying, wasting a little bit of purple candy I had on the aluminum back wheel just to dress it up. But even though it's just going to be cruising to a parade tomorrow morning, I'd say for a Ghetto Fabulous paint shop, it don't look bad. Not bad at all. Uh, can you let go of it and stand back? Yeah, go ahead and walk away from it. I know the power wheels ain't a big, a good backdrop, but... I like the ice cream music in the background. <laughs> God, those are long forks. Hey, where's the tape measure? That's something we didn't do. Grab the tape measure. Go tell me how long them forks are from top to bottom. Actually, look. Don't hook it that way. Hook it down here and come up the bottom. 
There you go. Because we just painted that. It'll be alright. What is that? 42 inches. Alright, 42 inch triple tree forks. And we still ain't done with the bike. But, uh. Anyways, how do you like your pro bono chopper, man? Man, I'm, I love it. It's comfortable. Nice little, nice little reach for me. And it was totally free, huh? Totally free. Didn't take no parts but junkyard parts. Junkyard parts. All right. That's sweet. Rex was a Texan out of New Orleans. What you got? When we come back, the next time you see the video, though, I mean the finished video, you're going to see perfection. It's going to be perfect. Trust me. The wicked wild is in the sack, baby. Wicked, 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 wicked wild. Oh, man, you're a fool.